This week's Parsha discusses the construction of the beautiful vessels of the Mishkan. One of those vessels are the Kruvim. The Kruvim were a cover to the Aro, the Ark. The Kruvim, which are two angelic figures, the Torah commands us not just to make Kruvim, but to form Kruvim Miksha Achas, one solid piece of gold. What is the significance of having to form these two angelic figures from one solid block of gold? Possibly, it will be easier to even construct the Kruvim, to form them, piece by piece, take some gold, make some wings, other things, a head, and then melt it together. When it was time for the Jewish nation to receive the Torah, and we were by Har Sinai, the prerequisite to receive the Torah, we had to be, as a nation, in unity. The rabbis tell us, Ke'ish echad In order to receive the mitzvahs and properly fulfill the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the will of Hashem, we had to be a nation, one nation, one soul. I have merited on several occasions to hear the venerable Mashkiach, the Matzio Salman, point out passionately that in order to truly fulfill and follow the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I must first be able to recognize positive in those that I am in contact with, my family, my friends. How is it possible to fulfill the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu without being able to treat and look upon my brother in the right way? The Kruvim, the Gemara tells us, represents our relationship with God. When we are in unity, we are that one solid block of gold that represent properly our relationship and following in the will of God. Shabbat Shalom.